Salutations, Dufos. This is your fabulous leader, the Queen of Shade, coming at you with another special presentation. Moving right ahead, talking to some amazing people, having amazing conversations. I am thoroughly enjoying myself. And having said that, I have someone special that you need to meet today. This person is an LGBTQIAP activist and innovator. He's also a plant medicine activist. He does a whole lot of other things, and we're going to talk to him right now. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to Buck Angel. <laughs> you're awesome I love you I, love, I can't believe we've never like this is our first sort of like introduction to each other but you know what's <laughs> crazy but you know what's crazy we've been in contact for years that's right and I was going to bring that up I wanted them to know how I met you so this is how I met Buck I'm up in here in the early stages it was just a couple years ago up in the early stages of the queen of shade I took a break and I went on Netflix and you know, Netflix, they take and suggest things for you to watch and different things like this. And Buck's, Buck's <laughs> documentary was on Netflix. It was suggested to me. And when I watched it, I was immediately touched, moved, inspired. I'm getting goosebumps right now. Wow. That I, what I did following the watching the completion or, or finishing the documentary, I took to social media and I looked him up and I found him and I wrote him and I told him how his documentary had impacted me and how I was so inspired by him being who he is. And we've been in communication ever since. But this is our first face to face. Face to face. And look how beautiful you are. I mean, you're beautiful in all your photos and oh. all your videos. But like actually being with you now is like, I see it all. You have all of it. <laughs> Buck, it's Botox. It's Botox. <laughs> I love you. I totally love yes. you. Well, it's Botox. Anybody can have this. You know, let, let's not let's that let's not make them think it's too hard to become a queen. <laughs> It is. No, 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 no. Right. You are right. in that space, my right. friend. <laughs> no, you know, there was actually a young man that I follow. He's a he's an artist. And his name is Rico Hondo. Mm. And he did a post today. And he said, listen, ladies, I'm not just gonna call you a queen off the bat. He <laughs> said, you gotta earn that title. It takes a lot to become a queen. And I was so moved that I, like, I usually don't do that because I share it, but I shared it on Facebook. I shared it everywhere. I'm like, listen, I'm like, listen, the word queen is in my trademark for a reason. Like, <laughs> Bam. Yeah. No, but you are, you know, you really, that's why I connected with you because uh, with all the insanity going on on yes. social media, on the internet, you have pure love in your heart and those are the people that I really connect to because I feel the same way and I don't think we need to hate each other and I don't think we need to argue the way we are I don't think we need to be divided and you the messages that you send to the universe are everything I align with thank so you. I really thank you for continually putting it out there you're putting it out there but you know what it is? I'm a shaman buck. So the messages, the messages are, they're being, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a boomerang. They're being sent to me and I'm just throwing them back. I'm just That's throwing right. them back. I'm just throwing them back. That's what I'm doing. Like, and I love that. I love that my work is that, oh God, you're making me emotional. <laughs> I, I, I don't no. discuss, like, you know what it is? Cause you know, you yeah. work and you work and you work and you don't get to discuss it, but, yeah. but I enjoy it. So, oh my God, I'm getting emotional. I enjoy it so much because- That right there, that right there, that is your, that is you and your empathy and your compassion. <sighs> and that's why you do it so well, because- I don't want to cry. Are <laughs> no, but those are real tears of <laughs> compassion that you have for the universe and for humans and why you are picked by the universe you have been picked that's why you're a shaman you have been picked to do you're your making work. me cry how you gonna make me cry but <laughs> how you gonna make me cry we just started oh, there goes your makeup <laughs> you learn how to do this no but but you but you know what you know what though i think i'm so emotional because 
you know, I've gone through so many evolutions to get here. I've been in the entertainment business for 20 years. I started as a no-name model, aspiring model in Paris. I left America after not doing well in New York and Paris started to take off for me, but I wasn't in alignment. I was, I was battling mental illness in my childhood and I hadn't had therapy yet. And it just, it just wasn't aligning. And I have fought so hard to be who I am. I know that. They don't I see get your that. struggle. I, I know your struggle, that, <laughs> but that's why my friend, you are this person because struggle is important. I think today we are taking the struggle out of transitioning for the kids, which yeah. makes no sense to me. You've got to struggle in the yeah. world. And I don't mean like, you know, in a space where you're like always fearing for your life, but right. you've got to struggle on some level in order to understand the gratitude of having what you have. It's, yeah. I, I really believe in struggle as yeah. a means and a way to get to the space you need. If you, nev if you never struggle, how would you know my struggle? How would I know your struggle? We know our struggles, even though they're different struggles, right. we still understand struggle we understand. and how important it is. Yes. We understand. That's and right. One of my babies, his name is Ty Mitch. He is like, he's like one of my best friends. And I, I kind of like mentor him, but not really because everything I throw to him, he throws right back. At me. <laughs> And it's so good. Like I can really talk to him. And I was, I was telling him because right now in his life, it's a struggle. He's, he's working a full-time job and he's an artist and he's, he's, you know, trying to make that transition. But I told him, I'm like, listen, I give you so much respect because I know what it was like to try to work a job. And in the wee hours of the morning between when you should be sleeping, so you can get back to your job at nine o'clock, you're up there doing something for your job, you're up for your career and, and your passion. And he threw it right back at me. He said, first of all, I accept what you're saying, but I want you to understand that yes, you're you're empathetic but um it was no cakewalk for you you may be a full-time artist now right. but look at all that had to happen for you to be a full-time artist that's and right he was just like it, you had no silver spoon mama he calls me mom he's like you had no <laughs> silver, silver spoon and I, and I thought about that and I think I got emotional with you that quickly is because lately Buck I've been thinking about what I've been doing and I feel like I, I, I feel like my eyes are being open to it that's right. I, I mean, you see what you, do you know what happening to you right now is you see, that's yeah. why you're being emotional because you actually see yeah. what is happening. And that is such a power. You've been given a gift. You know that you have a gift yeah. and that gift you are using in the way that the universe meant you to use it. And you're really spreading so much amazing beautiful i mean all the first off i just have to say all the dudes <laughs> that you yeah. post on <laughs> yeah i'm just like uh. we have to include them we have to include them and and but you know what that is that's just because in fashion i didn't see anybody that looked like me that's right and right. then then there was this huge push to be one size you know, you had to be sample size. And it's so crazy because I was just sent a couture outfit. And, you know, and when I was 22, I was starving myself. I could fit those clothes. Ew. I'm 39. Wow, the, the, you are? The, yes, I'm 30. I'll be 40 in September. Damn, girl, you're, yes. girl, you're working it. <laughs> but my thing was, you know, I didn't, like, they even, listen, they told me in Paris, they're like, I'm sorry, we don't know what to do with you. Wow. And I'm like, what do you mean you don't know what to do with me? Naomi, Leah Kabidi, like I, I'm, I'm, I'm listening, Beverly Johnson, Pat Cleveland, uh, the praying man is Deborah Shaw. And they said to me, they said, baby, they basically said, baby, those were happenings. They said, but blacks don't wear our clothes. No, for wait, real. Wait, 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 wait. They said, we don't have a black or an Asian market. That is totally bullshit. But get this, told me, keep smiling. You have a beautiful smile. Maybe something will happen. That was 2005. That actually makes my stomach hurt. I, yeah. I, 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 have, yeah. I don't even know what to say about that. It, it there is. We just... go. There we go. Race it. There we go. Nice. Race. And I'm like. So my thing is, I don't want my boys, these, these gorgeous boys gorgeous. who are fetishized and yep. sexualized yep. and preyed upon, I know. you know, I know, by the world yeah. and by people with money. 
That's They're right. preyed upon That's because right. they are in positions where, of servitude. That's it's like, right. I want these boys to understand that they're black and their Latin is beautiful. Beautiful. And I mean, they don't really. have to lose all of this weight. I have a, a friend who's oh, a wow. designer, haute couture designer in Spain. Oh. He started as a little skinny model and he just put on some weight, put on some muscle. Honey, he looks amazing. And every oh. single man that I've ever seen just put on a little muscle. They just look so, I can't turn away well, Buck, I, turn I know away. i mean i thank you for doing that because they do need to know their self-worth and it's yeah. not just that you know they get me over here 100 got me over here i ain't got no tissue you got me over here <laughs> <laughs> i'm looking i'm like my, my cloth is over there but i'm not there i'm not there we don't say i'm not there getting no up. i know I'm, I'm actually crying i'm yeah. crying too because it's so horrible i mean you know it's just just i just hate it as a white dude yes. i fucking hate it man i just i don't understand it you know it's not my space your space but on some level i understand the fetishization and all of that understand. yeah but i of just really course. hate it it bugs of me course. so it's, much it's why not. why do we have to have this shit like this racist shit it's it, not it's, fair it's I not fair saying that but it's, it's not it's not fair. i'm the i'll be the first white dude to tell you yes. that it is not it is totally ridiculous it's actually ridiculous that's yes. you know i look at it outside i'm like it is fucking ridiculous that we are yes. still in this space in 2022 yeah. go fuck yourself we live in yeah. a racist country yeah. i don't care what anybody says we yeah. live in a racist country and if we yeah. don't have if i don't say it yeah and we don't have the conversation and people don't yeah. get their little ass hurt because they're yeah. white say, oh, you know it's like no fucking stand up and just say it just fucking yeah. say it <laughs> but you know what it is and you know what it is even on the other side of the coin but i understand them because yeah. this is the yeah. thing they are so afraid that they're going to lose their holdings, that's right their that's holdings right. what right. they have amassed because let's face it buck money is not everything but it's damn no. sure up there next to <laughs> one of my I, mentors his name is byron nelson years yeah. ago in 2007 he said that to me money yeah. is not everything but it is damn sure up there next to oxygen you need right. money to do everything that's so right. it scares them to have what do you mean you want us to give up our financial holdings? that's right yep that's right it is exactly a tied to money a hundred tied to money that's yep. what it is they that's don't want to let go of the money yep. but the thing yep. about it is you look at all of these blacks and we're your entertainers that's right we're we're your musicians we're right. your artists and you don't want us to you want us to work for you and entertain you but you that's don't right. want us to really have a seat at your table not cool and that's why i really uh really emphasize within my community especially the people of color in my community yes. get your own business yes. whatever i need to do to help you create your own business is freedom yes. money is freedom yes. money is freedom yep. so creating your own business is freedom so you don't have to work for the people who hate you yep. so you know and i know it's not easy especially as a person of color it's not i did it business. that's what i'm doing right yeah. now you're speaking my life I, I walked away from mainstream. I had record contracts. I had modeling contracts. Right. There were a lot of things. And get it, That's right. my soul wouldn't let me sign, Buck. Damn, you're so awesome. That, But that's what I'm saying. It was and a knowledge without knowing. That's right. But, you know, if you create, like, I think Black people should buy Black products. Yeah. That's how you create the, the, yeah, that's the how you act. That's the color right. needs that, to recycle because now right. the Jewish and then the Chinese and the that's Asian, right. It recycles in the it black recycles. community. It doesn't even recycle cycle nope. one time. No, nope. black time. community does not understand that a power of, of buying black product, creating black product, keeping the money within the community. A lot of other communities do that. Yes. But if the black community understood that, you guys could be so much more powerful. Yes. But you know, you've been beaten down, my friend. It's, you've been beaten down. And you know what it is, Buck? Yep. It's generations of psychological that's right. systemic abuse. That's, that's it's right. so bad, Buck, that now we're so doing bad. it to ourselves. I know. Oh, and our children. I know. I see it. I actually see it. And as a white dude, I can't, you know, I'm just here. I'm here as a support. But you have a but, voice. Because yeah, get this. I do. Because get this, Buck. It's not, and listen, I'm going to say it. It's yep. not going to change by people nope. with me saying it. Right be, on. Be the ally. The that's ally. Me. The that's allies right. that stand up and say that's this right. is no longer okay. That's when it's going right. to change. Because that's right. They're going to say, oh, look at that black girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She means well, right. but they're not going to take me seriously. Nope. So then when they start seeing white people with me. That's right. White right. people saying, no, 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 you can't treat her this way. And anybody right. that looks like her. 
then that's they're gonna right. be like, okay, we gotta do that's something right. about it because now it's crossing over. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you are straight main, up. Yeah, now it's going straight mainstream. Up. We gotta that's do right. something about it. It's not on the chitlin circuit anymore. That's right, friend. That's right, friend. So mm-hmm. I'm there. I am the guy who stands up and says it. And I always say to white people, we got to fucking stand up for people. Yeah. We gotta say this isn't fair. It's it is not, not a level playing field. I don't care no. what anybody says. It's They're not- gonna pick me over you every time. Every only time, because but- I'm white. Every only time. Because- not because I have better skills than you. Or not because I'm talent or knowledge or none experience. Of it. That's right. Eartha Kitt said when That's she right. was younger, she dated a lot of affluent billionaire type men. Yeah. And she said she she was hurt by it because it was mm-hmm. a documentary. She was very hurt because she said some of them loved her so much that they wanted to marry her. But the problem was their mothers. Mm-hmm. Their mother, and, and this is how she said it, their mothers would have rather them bring home white trash than an affluent black woman. I mean, what? That doesn't even make sense. It didn't. <laughs> let me tell you, because Fucking it's hell. this, it's this, you know what though? I see it and I understand it. It's what? this big fear. Like we, mm-hmm. like you have to understand they farmed us. I know it's we sick. were lo- like, you know, people always sick. say, give me 40 acres and a mule. I was just yeah. explaining to my my nephew last night, baby, 40 acres and a mule was for indentured servants, white people that came to the country and paid their debts by working them off. And then they were given 40 acres and a mule to start over. But I had to let my nephew go. No, baby, when they got the 40 acres and the mule, you were property and you were given to them as well. Here's okay. 20 of these niggas yeah. you know uh, uh, like uh, like uh, like yeah like and we need to understand that the that's systemic right. pain that's the right systemic pain i don't understand why people don't want to have the conversation other than what we said yeah. earlier the, the fact their fear of losing what they have but you know why and, it's also it's mm-hmm. also fear because they know what they did to us Oh, it, that's true. It was that's it true. Was inhuman. That's true. It was inhuman. inhuman. It still is. They get it. It still they is. Had, but back in sla- get this, and I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna go, we're gonna talk about the new slavery. But yeah. anyway, back then, can you imagine a young boy being bred for his size? No. The, the width, come on, we can talk, we can say it. Mandingo, the size that's right. that, to breed that's right. to his sister, to his mother, to his cousin. Like it just was to sell the baby. Like when you really think about what happened, you understand that they don't see us as human. That's right. They don't, they do not see you. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, that movie Roots came out. Yes. So, right. That and it was movie. profound, profound. That, My yes. parents actually made us watch that. Mm-hmm. They made us watch So you it. had good parents. I had you great had parents. parents. You know, yeah. of course, I'm going to be honest with you. There was some racist shit that happened. Yes, that, that but just it's because bread in they there. fear their holding. That's right. But get this, the new slavery is, look at the entertainment industry. It's predominantly yeah. Black. You oh, sign amazing. these deals. That's you true. can't get out of it. You don't own the masters. You don't own your likeness. You don't. Oh, I yeah. own every single song I've ever sang. Oh, yeah. And Buck, trust me, oh, yeah. my grandmother worked 40 years to give me the six figures she gave me to start oh, my, wow. my company. And that company went out of business during the pandemic. Oh my and I God. had to start over, but oh. it wasn't starting over because I had all of the knowledge that I learned from the first time. So I came up even quicker. Yeah, that's right. Th- that, oh, like, you know, wow, like wow. it's the new slavery. They tell you, but well, you need the money now. And that's the thing. You need the money that's now. Right. You live that's in the right. wood. You want to get out now. And it's like, no, I was the one that said, no, I'm going to stay right here. That's right. I'm going to stay right you. here. I'm going to stay in my grandmother's two, her spare bedroom and her two bedroom townhouse Mm -hmm. over here in Northeast Philadelphia. I'm going to stay over here till the Lord opens it up. And that's That's the thing. It's, and that's the thing about business. It's low and slow. That's right. People don't understand that. You build. It's taken me 20 years to get where I am today. 20 years. It took me 20 years and I ain't even (laughs) halfway there. I ain't even halfway there. (laughs) Girl, you are. Don't you are such a powerhouse. You might not have the cash right now, but it's but get it. But it's you're coming. right. But this is the thing. All of my financiers, all of my investors, my mm-hmm. lawyers, my financial mm-hmm. team, they mm-hmm. tell me it's 
coming. It's that coming. success you already have. That's and right. that the money is a byproduct of That's your right. already looming and right. huge success. That's right. And that's the thing. First of all, I'm a full-time entertainer. I, and, and get it, I'm not killing myself. I work a lot, yes. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I wake up when I'm done sleeping. <laughs> right on. <laughs> I have no alarm clock. <laughs> and when Brilliant. I get up is when I, I, I luxuriate and I figure out what I'm going to eat and I sit there and I figure out what I'm going to wear. I take my time. I'm not right. running off to somebody's rat race. Nope. And that nope. is a blessing. It is a blessing. I, feel I you, said friend. something on my page today because I was speaking to a friend of mine that I met 20 years ago in Paris right. and she's a huge deal. She was a huge deal then. She was a, and she's a huge deal now in the fashion community. She's a critic. Her name is Diane Pernay. And she said to me, she said, girl, you figured it out. And I said, but it wasn't easy. She said, but listen to this. She said, the price of success is high. But the price of freedom is even <laughs> right. higher. That's and so she true. said, and most of us cannot afford it. Oh, that's so true. Oh, wow. I look that's at so what happened really. to Taylor. Like, listen, I look at what happened to Taylor Swift. Oh, they, wow. they bought her catalog. They did. They totally did. from under her. They totally did. <laughs> they totally they did. They screwed her. Again, a woman. And a I'm woman. like... So no, and I'm gonna I'm be honest. I said, they doing this to a white woman, a black person don't have not a shot in hell. No, right on friend. That's exactly That's what right. I said. That's what I said, they see. did this to a white woman. I That's said, oh right. hell no. I said, I'm staying right here. I'm gonna hold on to everything I got because if they did that to a white woman. That's right. We ain't got a prayer or- You're prayer. fucked. You're totally fucked. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. That's right. And people don't realize that, Buck. Nope. They don't realize that it's, like you said, it's, a, it's not a fair playing field. Because I'm, I really believe so. So I, I really think Black Lives Matter is a very important space. Yes. But that being said, yeah. I also think it, it, it on some level has has uh, it's put it's put it in a space that that is not. I don't want to use the word real. I don't know what words I'm looking for. I think it makes people think things are changing when they're yeah. actually not. They're Does not. that make sense? Yes. It's like a false. They're not. It's like yes. a false, false uh, hope. It's false, a false, false hope. hope. That's right. It's That's a false hope. For. Because so these people, like, get this, it was great for all of the outcry and George that's right. and all these that's other things. It was great, but we right. needed to hit them in legislation. That's look right. This. But look at this. But you know, remember, we heard about the Asians that were killed in that yes. salon down yes. in the South. Yes. I think it was in the South or it might have been in the West. So but they mean? went immediately to legislation and made laws that said, yeah. if you harm Asians, you are going to be put under the jail and we can't even get a protect our son law. We it's money. It. It's, it's money. money. It's money. They, first of all, first of all, Asians get money. That's because right. Because of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. That's right. We're I totally still know. Give, this country is still giving them money. So, so when they come weird. here, yes. Yeah, so when they come here, they, they can open businesses. I Listen, know. it's hard for a black person to start a business. Oh they want to police and do. I That's learned right. all and get it. I learned all of it myself. I went through every single step. <laughs> I went You're through badass. every single step. Every and it was Badass. hard. It was hard, Buck. But I because they don't want to give you money because you're black. Oh. I know it. I can't even imagine oh. you probably walk into a bank. I need exactly. a loan. Exactly. Like, uh, no. The Asian or a no. white or even the Mexican or the Latino. Yeah, I think. And, that, and that's why I love my grandmother so much. We we fought. We fought because she was my yeah. silent business partner in the old yeah. business. And I'm gonna just tell the truth. The shit was getting expensive as hell. Yeah. And it was draining her and it was stressing me because I needed to Ugh. move forward. So we were at odds. Yeah, so right. the business we had to dissolve. It just, oh, wow. COVID yeah. hit, we couldn't do it. Yeah. So then she resumed her place as my grandmother, confidant, mm -hmm. mentor, and advisor. And I picked this up with my friends. My friends sent me the money to start my new LLC. Wow. My wow. friends did that. Wow. And I had my I had friends, because I offer mentor services. I had friends yeah. book my services just to give me the money. Like it yeah. just has Those to be the right channels, legal channels. So we just listen. So we can say yeah. we did this. Listen, just do and and literally bankroll my business. Wow. And it was Beautiful. just like, but but the, but you know the experience of it all, Buck. And get this, 
I got members of my own community doing hateful, mean, evil things behind the radar, under the radar to block my business. I'm working on an economic damage lawsuit right now. What? Like, yes, but, and, and, and it's like, listen, all because they want to be the only one that makes it through the door. That's so gross. <laughs> that That's is the so whole gross. reason. They don't and see then they a bigger see picture. Me, they see wow. me and, and Buck, I'm just too many things. That's right. They're jealous things. of you. And you know, I'm you know, that's one things. thing I learned from my own community, the envy, the envy and jealousy of my Real. success. And they continually Real. try to rip me down. That happens with you. You you're a successful person. So and they it's don't, just like yep. It's sick. It's actually yeah. sick. And they don't see the bigger picture that we all need to up, push each other. Oh, yes. We need to you know how much abundance? abundance? It's called abundance. Yes. Abundance is there. There's enough for yes. me and you. And if we yes. learn to share that, yes. I don't need $50 billion. I'm exactly. Cool with, I'm actually cool with a million bucks. Totally cool. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I don't know because my chateau that I want in France is $4 million. <laughs> So I'm trying to right pull on. an Enya. I'm trying to pull an Enya. Have my <laughs> castle in the side of, she's in the UK. I want to be a friend. $99 million. Leave me alone. Like, right on. But, but right you on. Know, and that's another thing too. Most people don't understand because of the systemic racism that's right. that most of us that even entertain. Buck, I'm working so that I don't have to work no more so I can run somewhere, lay on some beach and just exhale. That's right. That's right. And, and people are like, people oh, no, see. we want you to stay here. We want you to do this. And we want you to do that. And I'm like, baby, I'm trying to get out because I can't take this. No, you don't need it. That's the thing is you've been this your whole life. Yes. The minute you were born, the minute you were born, my friend, the cards were fucked for you. Yes. And so Thank I you. get it. Thank you for saying they were. that. They were fucked for because you. Because people think I'm crazy that. when I say that. You're not. I mean, I'm Let telling you, you I see it. Let me tell you something. When, what was that? 14, 15 years ago. First of all, I was diagnosed at bipolar one. So I got mm -hmm. a lot of energy. It's a superpower today, but that's mm -hmm. after therapy and medication. <laughs> bipolar <laughs> one, acute anxiety disorder and PTSD because of my childhood. Oh. I was not supposed to be sitting here. My government, when I went to apply for SSD before mm -hmm. disability, do you know they denied me on two accounts? They said, you're too young. What? I want to give it to you that you, because you're too young. Now, mind you, I was having full manic episodes, episodes that were getting me in harm's way, danger all over in Europe. Like it was a mess getting in trouble with the police because I just wasn't well. Like it was a mess. Right. But they said to me, you're too young. Perhaps, you know, with therapy, you'll recover. I still needed my money. But anyway, what they said, there's a job that you can do. You will never guess. So I'm just going to tell you. They looked me in my face with my lawyer and they said, he can fold laundry in a laundry mat. I mean, I lied to you not. That is what the judge said to me as I'm sitting there at my hearing for SSD, the SSD wow. that I deserve. And the only right. reason why I'm upset about it is because it forced my grandmother to have to further take care of me. There wow. was no extra money. for it. We started this in 2013. I was here since 20, 2009. Uh -huh, so right. it just, you know, and even with the business being started, I still had no way to take care of myself. There were years and years of taking losses with the income taxes. It's years. It's just... I it's so clearly racist. It's so clearly unfair. Folding so laundry. Clearly, and folding laundry. Wow. Really? That's like so fucked up. It's like, degrading. What? It's degrading fucked up. It's like, wait a minute here. Why are you giving that person this? But not exactly. Me? And like, mind you, difference? and the, my lawyer said to, said to him, said to the judge, your honor, he got into college. Yeah. On a biology. He was a biology pre-veterinary medicine major, mm -hmm. minor psychology. And mm -hmm. you're telling him that because he has bipolar disorder, he needs to fold laundry? Sick. Totally sick. No, because he only saw the color of your skin. I only, guarantee you. That's, I mean, I don't need to tell you that. No, um, no, yeah, I love no. it. I love the truth, yeah. baby. I live yeah. in the truth. It's totally the color of your skin. If you walked he in. He looked at me and. That's right. Yeah. That's right. He said, that's oh, totally. no. I don't, here's what I don't understand. So we give reparations to Native Everybody Americans. Everybody except Blacks. 
But what? This is what I don't understand. And I'm not being an idiot right here. Anyone who's living no. out there, I really want to know why every other minority, Race, or, minority, yeah, gets to have reparations. I mean, they literally oh, gave Rand back. Listen, one of the uh, greats, I forget who said it, but I was watching it. He said they fear that if we come into power with money, that we are going to do to them. That's what right. they did to us. That's, <laughs> that's the, so that's true. The issue. They are scared Brilliant. that we are going to do to them what Brilliant. they did to us. Because true. let's face it, our true. race, we are a more virile, strong that's right. race. That's right. We are athletic right. and you know everything. Yes. That's right. or, and that's tribal. Right. Tribal is not a bad thing. We're, we, no. were, you, we were mighty men of valor. That's we right. We were mighty men of valor. That's right. Zulu, all the other tribes. We were mighty men of valor. So they right. fear that we're going to do or worse. And it's just like, no, like, they, you know, that's why they, that, so that town, I apologize, I forgot no. the name of it, but in the 50s, the black uh, city, right, that got burned down. It killed everybody. Or it's the most insane story. Like, but it's not the right only now. one. No, there I know that. There are a lot that. of them. They put massive wars. They put it's massive sick. wars over the town, successful black towns. Well, what do you think happened here in LA and in, yeah. in Compton during, yeah. during Rodney King? They literally burned down the whole city. Do you know? I don't know if you've been out here, but it's still fucked up. Compton is still burned down. It's I still, haven't been out there. It's like 20 something years ago. They're still like not really bad. I'm like, what? Any other city would have been burned out and would have been put back up. That is so clearly racist. And yeah. I lived in New Orleans, Louisiana yeah. during Katrina. Yeah. And that shit I saw firsthand yeah. racism beyond my yeah. own, anything I could have even imagined. And I'm yeah. like, bullshit. This fucking country is racist. Fuck all you. I saw it with my eyes, with my yeah. white motherfucking eyes. Yeah. Get it. Like, I was in I was in Paris at that time. And get this. Uh, it was Katrina was all over the screens in the news. It was and, sick, and get this. Sick. I learned then that they look at us here. My friends said to me, they said he introduced me to other friends and they said, why isn't your president down in Katrina, down in Louisiana that's, helping? That's right. And I said, I said to him, I said it was Bush. I said, listen, right. I said, I don't know where he is. I didn't vote for him. <laughs> get this they said to me but he's still your president that's right he's that's still, right he's still he's your leader that motherfucker and they looked days. at me they looked at me with disdain oh my god this is what you friend. do to it's your embarrassing. own it's embarrassing they look it, at me uh, like this is what you do to your own and you want to come work right. here y'all don't that's even right. have each other's backs no it's kind of true on some level you know the black community i also think is split I think well, like yeah. any community, like yeah. any trans community. Because yeah, I was going to say with it. blacks and the whole, like my thing, my issue with the whole Black Lives Matter was yep. I don't want to fight and march with you on the, on the front lines of Black Lives yep. Matter. And then when Black Lives Matter is over, you kill me for being a gay cross-dresser. That's right. There you go, my friend. I, that was That's my it. problem. Y'all not I ready can't... to accept me and they still not accepting me. It's I'm real. Saying, yeah. The homophobia in your community is it's insane. So real. insane. Like, it's so, it's That's so right. bad. Because it's bad. It's so bad. But you know what's so funny? Why is it that my community, the Black mm. community, has the, has the highest um, su uh, rates of HIV and AIDS? Yeah, because we in know the why. black, even in the Black <laughs> community, it's one That's in right. two. It's I know it's 50%. sad because y'all listen. It's just like church. Y'all trying to hide, 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 right hide, on, right on, but right y'all like, 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 like doing That's it. Right. That's right. That's they're full of shit. They're hypocrites. Yeah. They're total hypocrites. They preach it, you know that, and then all this love I'm and not acceptance. Even Christian, I don't even have them. Neither am I. I. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm in the universe. Yeah, the universe like I said, I'm a shaman. I'm an African You're a shaman. shaman. I'm a shaman. That's the religion of my ancestors. I come. That's right. I, that's my right. Ancestors. Damn. And we get it done. Like that's that. right. The Christianity is white people yes, shit. That little, they literally I indoctrinated even, you. No, I don't even want no. I don't want nothing to do with that. <laughs> I, I ain't got nothing to do with that. that. Listen, Good for I you. Did a, I did a podcast listen i did a podcast yesterday because i was on the floor doing my workouts because you know i'm still not going to a gym but you know i gotta keep it i gotta keep it together that's right somehow Me so too. i'm doing my workout yesterday on my floor mm -hmm. and i had a flashback and it was a flashback of being in church and having the preacher say to the congregation that a new way of chastising their children and beating their children was to make them pray and then beat them while they prayed oh my God. Oh no, it gets worse, baby. What? My stupid ass uncle, who was only eight years older than me, we were in his care. Do you know he, I have four siblings, three siblings. Do you know? We did something one day, we in a two bedroom uh, apartment. 
not this one, over in, in, the, in, in the suburbs. Mm -hmm. He took my youngest sister in the room, stripped her down, beat her, made her pray. Mm -hmm. He took fuck? my brother who's schizophrenic, who showed signs then, who still shows signs now, who's in my care right now in the other room, oh, who is God. 35 and, oh. and, and not doing good. I'm sorry. He beat him. Get it. My brother's an atheist. My sister right under me, she raped as a child, molested as a child. Same with me. Beat her. She's screaming and hollering. And he beat her. And then get this. Something happened when he got to me. I was 16. I wasn't even a child. I was 16 with him doing this. And he turned around and strips me down. And I'm looking out the window. And he proceeds to hit me. And as he hit me, my ancestors surrounded me and the divine. I started speaking an angelic tongue wow. and communing with my ancestors. Wow. He stopped hitting me. Oh yeah. He ain't Freaking never like he ain't never liked me. Ooh, we don't get yes, along. He knows. Yes. He knows. He knows he, how listen, powerful. In, listen, in one breath, wow. he would slap me and tell me, you're not going to be anything. You'll never be anything. You'll never go anywhere. And then during prayer, the Lord would make him speak to me. And he said, you're going to be blessed. You will have more than this. You're going to be honored. You're going to be a psalmist. Everybody's going to know you. And then after the trance was quote unquote over, then he went to treating me horribly because he envied what he saw going to happen in my life. That's right. That's right. That is How a horrifying is story. Yes, it happened. It happened to it, Ma. I mean, I mean, what's happening in this world where people have to fucking do that shit to children and not, it's religion. I, you know, I, I, the thing is, I am on some level anti uh, yeah. uh, organized religion that way because I that just, is not teaching. That's not the teaches of Jesus. Jesus nope. is not, he was a cool dude who liked yes. all of us. And was like, he was very cool. He was very he was cool. Very cool. And this is all bullshit behavior that these people are doing. And you know what I loved about Jesus? That was mm -hmm. one thing I loved about Jesus. He never tried to force his religion, That's right. his way of life on That's anyone. Right. You right. literally would meet him and he would be so cool that you would right. ask him, man, what do you do? That's right. What's your kind of, what's your, what's your, what yeah. do you do? <laughs> what's your thing? That's and right. then he would say, oh, I'm glorifying my father, uh -huh. which is in heaven. But, right. but Christians don't realize the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they were the religious ones That's right. and they killed him. They killed him. Like they're, they're, these people are so crazy. They don't even know the real story. They're making shit up. Look at this, <laughs> Buck, but, but Buck, honestly, they lied to us about everything else. And you That's think right. they're going to give us a, a truthful <laughs> book during slavery for right. us to adhere to? That's but, right. Buck, black people aren't mentioned more than twice in the Bible. Oh, wow. Twice. Twice. Yeah, really. They spoke of Nimrod. Nimrod in Genesis. He was a mighty hunter. They said he was from the land of Cush. That's Ethiopia. They said oh. his name was Nimrod. Then they, they alluded that the man that carried Jesus's cross was black. Wow. That's it. That's it. That's it. That is total bullshit. That's it. <laughs> Completely. Exactly. Because white we're just, people wrote it. Listen, we're just finding out that all of these pictures of Jesus were not Jesus. It was a Roman model at that time who looked that way. So they they had him pose and they made all of these replicas. That's right. I, I already had that thought. There's no way that that, you know what I mean? It's pro Jesus um, was black. I'm pretty sure of it. <laughs> listen, I ain't never seen no woolly hair and skin of bronze. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. My, listen, bronze? Bronze, man? Ross? Jesus Christ, man. It is so out of control the way that, that we just literally removed Black people from every story. Exactly. Every <laughs> single insane. story. But we give you this book during, uh, during slavery and tell you it's the truth. Adhere to it. It's so bizarre. I mean, so so that being said, me as a, as a person of a, a white person, and yes. now as a white man, yes. you know, I have I'm like literally a white dude now. Yes. I I live in a space that I could never even imagine, and I didn't have any idea that it was magical on some level to be a white man, and it it feels embarrassing for me on some level to be put in this space. But mm -hmm. I believe that I have been put in this space to have these conversations with people yes. of color and yes. to and to actually amplify that yes. space because if if that being that being said, if we don't understand 
what is going on with this country and black people? I don't care, whatever, Asians, yes. uh, Latinos, let's put that over there. We, we got to stop mixing everything because yeah. I don't believe it's people of color. I yeah. believe we have black people, we have Asian people, right? Yes. So I'm speaking specifically about black people. Yeah. And black people are still the lowest on the totem pole. There are the, and it is, it's, I'm just saying that as a white person who, no, who noticed the truth. And it's really bizarre to me that, you know, okay, we have great music in this country. We have all based <laughs> on black people's <laughs> cultural, it's so ripped off, it's insane. Yet he, they have no control over their own spaces. And, you know, let's just take- Or um, their own gifts. They sign with these labels and the labels- That's right. Them. Their, their likenesses and everything. So, so that being said, so, so I think a lot of money is in the music business. I do think a lot of rap artists or yeah. people, R&B, they make some serious cash but there. But it possibly. is. The, the one thing that I explain, because my nephew is a rapper. Yeah. And I explain yeah. to him as a businesswoman, yeah. I'm like, listen, yeah. baby, your pain is what they're paying for. That's right. That's what I was going to say to you. That's right. So, so we're buying white people who love yes. rap. And using it as entertainment. He's telling how he almost died. And you're up there like, oh, okay, this is I say that all the time. They don't, they the worlds do not collide. They are not the same. It's really bizarre. So white people are all rapping out to this really fucked up shit. If they would listen to it, they'd be like mortified that this is actually real stories you fucking assholes are listening to. Yet you're all like, yeah, baby. Yeah. I'm like, no. Even my music. I'm talking about. That's right. It's all about pain. That's right. But they're like, oh, that's the part that really actually upsets me because we're not listening to what the story of rap really is about. Mm. It's storytelling of the pain and agony you all have to people. deal with on a daily basis nope. yeah people. i don't understand why so instead people are paying all kinds of money and doing this and i'm wondering do you hold rap artists who are pretty there's a lot of pretty wealthy rap artists do you think on some level they should be sort of creating a space to give back to the community monetarily and do you know and, what's so crazy buck our community is the only community where that happens. Okay. They don't like watch this. Okay. Watch this. They don't ask a white man how he's going to give back to his community. That's right. Because a white man's community, they all have the same things. Right. You see? Okay. So gotcha. when one makes it quote unquote, when a black man That's makes right. it out. That's Listen, right. instead of giving reparations, <laughs> instead of giving aid, <laughs> you got it. They make it another black person's <laughs> You're so right on, my friend. You see? That's what I wanted so to then hear. They from look you. at you and say, Well, you made it out. So That's you right. help your you people. give back to the people. Yeah, you know, right on. You know what, but you know what's right so on. what's so so earth shattering? People ask me that. How do you give back to your community? Mm-hmm. I said, baby, I made 22,000 inspiration motivation videos wow. that they can watch all over the internet. Right. Things I said to wake them up. That's right. To wake them up. They listen. I have so many people that listen with their whole soul. I know. It, it transcends their body. Exactly. They That's said right. I would be. I'm just, un- I'm just unconventional. And, it's I said, an and guess gift. what? I still got all my anointings too. They mad at me. I'm a <laughs> prophet, oracle, seer, healer, got them all. And they right mad. Do you That's know, right. You know what's so crazy too, Buck? I noticed this too. Ever since I've risen and become so successful, the church even embraces me. I got pastors oh, and preachers wow. that want to hang out with me. Get it? Not because, but not because, oh, you're so successful. I'm money. That's right. No, it's money. I was, and I try 100%. to tell people the church is a business, honey. It is a business. Anyone who doesn't agree with that is stupid. And they don't even have to pay taxes. So you can put no. all kinds of money in and they don't have to pay taxes. It's it's actually brilliant. Start your own church, my friend. Yeah. You don't ever have to pay fucking ever have taxes. To pay. And said, you can you know start what? a church. I said, you know what? I did start my church. The church of the queen of shade. That's right. <laughs> and guess what? You got to buy her music, her merchandise. You got to support her. Right yes, on. Yes, you do. <laughs> you know, like, but because, because, you know, I just, I really feel for my people because. And I do too. I feel. Because you know what it is? This is also a problem. When you're self-made. And that's why I love that I'm not self-made. And, I, and I'm going to tell you why. Because when you are self-made, you make mistakes 
but you don't allow anybody else in to tell you because mm -hmm. you have that. I made myself, nobody was there. You're, 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 you're projecting over your pain. Yes. So it was like, well, you weren't going to come and tell me and I made it out anyway. So anything I do is fine. That's right. That's right. But it's really not fine. Mm -mm. You need mentors. That's you right. need confidants. You need advisors. You need people that's going to be able to pull you by your coattail and say, boy, don't you do that. That's crazy. Don't do that. Don't say that. But we don't have that. And we constantly see our self-made millionaires. We see them falling, oh falling. Because they have nobody to go. They have no in. one. They have wow. no one. Like, do you know, in my work, I talk to so many people. I would never say names, but... Mm -hmm. But so many young men, women of all different races, nationalities, colors, and creeds, but especially my Black people, mm -hmm. they come to me and they're just like, you're light. You're yeah, light. You you're are. light. I just, I just need your light. Mm -hmm. And my thing is, I see, I'm not one of these people. When I was younger, I, like you said, growing up in the struggle, I felt like I needed to become successful, not even successful. I needed to become famous to prove to everybody right. that I was worth something. Right. Well, I'm 39 years old now and I'm scared shitless of fame. Yeah. I don't want fame. Right. Most people who are famous are not rich. That's and right. most people who are rich are not famous. That's right. You I got don't it. want fame. Nope. I'm not interested in their nope. 15 minutes of fame. I did a video nope. the other day. I said, listen, you can have your 15 minutes. Of fame. <laughs> right. I want my 40 years of success and longevity. <laughs> That's why, get it. That's why they mad. They're trying to stop me, but I'm trying to listen. I'm picking this whole platform up and running out of this country. That's right. Good for I'm you. I'm running out friend. of this country. I'm running it's, out of this. It's self-preservation. You, yes! you have to do that. That's exactly what it is. Oh, yes. Also, I'm running out of this. You country. are a leader, my friend. This is the thing is I really believe your the community, your community needs leaders like you who say, look, okay, yeah, we're black. Yeah, we're this, but we can actually pull ourselves up from this and come together as black people. But and you know forget the is. white people, forget that. You have to focus on your community. And but I you think- you know what it is? A, our, yeah. com our own community is envious of each other. I know, I, so is mine. It's like, it's like yep. it's, yeah, it's like, yep. you got more than me. We struggle too, right. why did not get that? You know, no, it's sick, yeah. it's sick. They don't see the bigger picture. Mike, the trans community is the same way. They're constantly trying to pull me fucking down. It's like, wait a minute, I'm literally reaching back to pull you up. First why are you all, pulling me down? First of all, you were one of the first it's so Trans heartbreaking to have a documentary on Netflix. No, it's heartbreaking. It's hard for me. It's heartbreaking. <laughs> Wait, even with that, you were pushing a particular brand of adult entertainment That's that right. is widely growing today. That's right. Then That's I exactly watched right. them tell you, oh, we just don't think this is the right time for That's this. Right. We just don't, we just feel that this is too radical. And now it's right. everywhere, but everywhere. And every time I come across a video, I watch it, but then <laughs> I also, yes, but then I also say, mm -mm, Buck Angel started this here. Buck right Angel on. started Thank this you. here. He started talking about this first. He started showing, he went to these companies and they That's say, right. no, we just, nope. we just feel that this is too, too unorthodox. That's and right. now you got, you got, and especially black, the blacks picked it up. You got black men, gay men, men That's that right. like transgenders, all yeah. of it. You got them sleeping with trans men. That's right. And, it, and it, it's quite, it's quite fascinating. It's, hot. it's fucking hot. <laughs> it really is. It really is. I'm just like, oh my. Right on, friend. <laughs> yes, it is. Look at us. Look at us. We get. But I mean it. But I mean it. It's thank you. It's, and that's right the on. thing. Like, but that's the thing. Even with homosexuality, lesbianism, mm -hmm. all of these things. No, everyone is not mm -hmm. gay. No, that's right. No, but they're they not. They cannot deny that the shit is fucking hot. It's hot, and that's why it's, it's growing hot. now. Because yes. now is the time. Yes. Yeah, I got we my have ass so kicked. Many more. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I got my did. ass kicked. And yeah, I get my did. now I get my ass kicked by the trans community, which is yeah. so bizarre. Not it doesn't make fair. any sense. Not but what fair. you said earlier, it's because yeah. people envy fame they, they and they want it for themselves and they're they not willing to do it. the work. Well, what and, makes you know, him so special? Well, what makes right. him so special? And it's that's like, right. baby, you're you're speaking of one of your pioneers. This is one of your gods. Gross. This yeah. is one of your gods. Because I mean, even the Bible like, said, I will make you little gods on earth. I'm like, honey, y'all tearing yep. down, y'all tearing down y'all own God. 
it's crazy, isn't it? It's like really just crazy the way people just turn on their own. I mean, you you deal with the same bullshit, but you know, it doesn't stop us. So you just have to you keep know, focusing. You know what's so crazy? And I just have to be honest. It's why I created this space. Mm -hmm. This is my safe mm -hmm. space. That's I don't right. I don't even go out dressed like this. Okay. I don't I, my windows are, are shut because everybody uh -huh. around me is straight and yeah. I just don't want any problems. And it's so no. crazy because I have three heterosexual men that are my neighbors and mm -hmm. they tell me all the time, first of all, you're beautiful. Oh, Second sweet. of all, nobody's going to bother you. If you think somebody's going to get to your house before we hear them, <laughs> you got another thing coming. Badass. Like I, And that's the thing. Like we, we, I think what they needed to understand is that we were not after them. Yes. You know, that's right. I'm yes. an openly out gay man, a feminine right. trans illusionist. That's what mm -hmm. I call myself because I used to say cross dresser or a trans transvestite. And then uh -huh. one of my, one of my babies said, mm -mm, that's a, that's derogatory for you. You are a trans illusionist. But I love that. And, and I love that. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I love that. Beautiful. So I kept it. I adopted it. Right. But on. They, they tell, like people say to me, when are we going to see the queen out? and about and i'm like when i can afford a lot of security oh yeah no a it's lot a, it's true it's, it's actually true. true you are smart it's you true. are very smart. i can't i cannot enter certain spaces with my yeah. own community i know they'll actually kick your ass it's true yes like, and it's just like and it's like oh they would do that to the queen of shade yes they would do they that would the they would yes, do it in a heartbeat would. yes uh, they would and, and this community, this idea, and I keep saying community, but I don't believe community is a real thing. I think I, community is kind of like a, a something that doesn't really exist. I right. think it's bullshit, mm -hmm. you know, community. I think we can, we can be like-minded and I yeah. think we can be aligned, we need yeah. to be aligned, but community, I no. think is a little too broad and it doesn't really exist anymore. No, it doesn't, it too. doesn't narrow anything down. That's right. It That's allows exactly us to right. be, it allows plausible deniability. That's right. Well, if, we don't, if we don't specify one thing, then we don't have to specify anything. That's right. Right on, okay. friend. So so we're me and you, I believe, are in a community of yeah. like-mindedness. And yeah. so even though we come from different space, right. we see the bigger But I picture. identified with your story. Yet, yeah, like I identified, like that's what these these people don't know because we just we just started talking and we having an amazing conversation. <laughs> but, awesome. but but the I thing is it. they can they can Google you. And yeah, my, right. like you, you know, like yeah. I'm talking to a giant in my community. And when I say that, I mean LGBTQIA, like this is a giant. And they, you know, they have to, I, I pay homage to you even now mm -hmm. because it's just like, you know, I watched before this even came, before I ever stood up, before I ever shook myself and realized that, that there was something there. I was mm -hmm. watching you. I was wow. watching you. I was empowered. I, I was inspired. I was motivated. I wow. left that documentary like, oh my God. And I understood more. Mm -hmm. I understood more. Were you, were, my, you uh, uh, were you cross dressing at that time or did you just I've start? I've been cross dressing since I was eight years old. Wow. Wow. Listen, listen to this. My wow. repeat this. On my mother's side, the ones that did the, the violence. Yeah. I have I have I had two uncles and two aunts. One uncle died in 2005, AIDS complications. The other one is alive and my two aunts are alive. Uh, it's my mother. So out of my grandmother's five children, four were gay and lesbian. Wow. And they gave me a hard time. What? So it, it I was, was actually homeless. Yes. Wow. I was homeless. They put me out. Yes, living on the street. This, before it was this, living on the streets. Yes. Sleeping from couch to couch, I know taking I favors from men. Yeah. It's amazing the way fa family. That's Get this. They mad at me because I do not call them. They are not my family. No. This, I say, you guys, first of all, I say, when you put someone out on the street and they are inexperienced, you are sending them to their death. That's right. Like, that's literally fucking telling you to fuck off and die, basically. And listen, wow. my survival has nothing to do with them. No, no, no. That's the universe. That's, That's the, the universe. universe. It is. 100%. And now I'm here and I'm, I got a big ass yep. mouth and I'm telling everybody what happened to me. That's why you're a badass because I, like, I'm, I'm telling everybody. Dying. That's you know? right. I'm telling everybody, to. this is what You know why you need to? You need to because other people, that's happening to it's other people. It's happening right now. That's right. And other people need to see that this shit my happens. Nephew, my nephew a few years ago brought me a 12 year old boy who was being put out by his mother. Oh my God. He knew what is, gay. How, how is that even a parent? Fuck you. I have a nine-year-old. I couldn't even imagine putting my child out because they said something different. Like, what the fuck is wrong with people? That is your child, your actual fucking child, you fuck face. Like, listen, oh, I, I, uh. listen, listen, 
I literally, in my family's face, now mind you, you're gay. They're, I was gay. You're gay. They're gay. I'm saying, yeah. when I say you're, I'm yeah, talking yeah, about family. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get this. He looked me in my face and didn't even recognize me. What? You did, you did worse to me than what yes. was ever done That's to right. you. And I'd tell you why. Because they could see that I was standing up in my own truth. That's right. I was, I had Powerful. the strength to Power. be myself. You, that, you know, like I said before, all the suffering I did and the suffering you did is why, why you are you who you are. Right. It is 100%. It really- It's why, it's, Buck, it's why they can't write a number, a figure on a piece of paper That's and right. push it at me. That's right. This is That's priceless. Right. It's priceless. There's not That's enough right. money. You know There's yourself. Not enough money. Exactly. There's yep. not enough money. So I might as well just contract myself out, That's myself right. and collect my fees. That's, That's what right. I'm going to do. That's, That's more do. powerful. It's yep. way more powerful. I mean, because I'm not. Check. I'm 40 years old. I'm not trying to be <laughs> running around with a 23 year old or No, I'm gonna sing my songs, go, you know, perform That's at right. fashion shows for my That's friends, right. and please, that shit's on iTunes and Amazon. Go buy it. I'm not running around. No, 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 no. I'm an old man. I hear you. <laughs> and I, I say that as far as entertainment, and it's just like. And what's so crazy is I never thought it would happen, Buck. I never thought it would happen. I lacked so many things. And it was just, and I mean life things. Like I like, you know, I had talent, but even my talent, do you know I was it was so buried under trauma yeah. that even the way that I sang as a young person is different than the way I sing now. Oh, I'm sure. Layers and layers and layers of trauma lifted. I yeah. felt I, I didn't even realize I was a soprano. Like I mean, I you thought, can hear it in your music. You can yes. actually hear your, 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 you have such a gift there. You can feel your power through your music, actually. And, but you know what it is? Because I'm sharing my story. That's right. And I'm it's so powerful. And that's the thing. We both, yes. we both, we both decided to not push our stories aside. That's right. No, we decided to tell the world our stories. I'm getting goosebumps that's and right. make the coin that we deserve doing so. That's right. 100%. If, if it's my story, why do I have to have these people and 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 these people popping up my check for my That's story? Right. That's right. <laughs> it's so fun. You're so right on. Like, fuck and off. It's my you, story. We, and they say to you, but we, we can get it out be before millions and millions and millions of eyeballs. Baby, no. I don't need millions and millions and millions of That's eyeballs. Right. I need a loyal few. That's right. That is so much more powerful when you. It find, is. That's right. It's not about a million followers. It's quality. About followers. That's right. Over quality. Quantity. If you oh, yeah. listen, if I have oh, yeah. ten million followers and they give me a dollar, that's thank right. you. But if I got ten people that know me and love me and they give me ten million dollars a piece, right. that's right. Total. That's right. That's there. That's that false. We 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 built this false platform false for hope. people. It's false true. hope. I got ten million followers. I'm, yeah. I'm like, yeah. Then what are you gonna do next year when you lose your ten million followers? Are it you is. actually creating? And that's the thing. That's, that's the right. thing. Anything can happen. Instagram Anything. has been doing this now. They're 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 deleting us. Yep. That's the right. Whole following everything. That's right. that's right. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? That's Listen. right. They don't see that. That's what the kids don't see. They think it's all about the followers. And I'm like, no, it is not. I don't have a shit ton of followers, but no. you know what I got? I got quality motherfucking people and I got businesses and I got products and I got shit that if that Instagram pulls me off, I don't give a fuck, man. Exactly. I got so you still have shit. a clientele. That's right. And that's the thing. Like, that's and right. that's what I was so afraid of because my thing is yeah. I like all my life. I wanted to work on the internet. It yeah. was a way that I could remain safe and not be abused and brutalized for doing Doing what I do. Mm -hmm. So even, even in Paris, even in the, in the EU, even in the other countries, I'm still going to do it like this. That's right. I'm still going to do it like this. I will make public appearances when my friends ask me, oh, come sing at this fashion show. Come mm -hmm. walk in this fashion show. Come do this. Come do that. You know, one of my babies, he sent me couture. So first, I'm a black person. They told me, oh, black people don't wear couture. I, <laughs> couture. I own couture now. I'm looking, I was looking like, are you serious? Like, And he sent it to me and he said, then come here to Spain so I can dress you. You can wear a lot more couture. Wow. I, tell, I told him, oh, I want to frame it. He said, no, no, no. Couture is meant to be worn. Wow. And I'm just like, and my thing is, I would have never gotten that had I been just based on the followers. But right. my followers didn't get me my blue check. That's right. My That's work right. ethic did. That's right. 22,000 fully scripted 60 second videos I gave in six years yeah. to, to Instagram. 
Right on. Instagram wrote me and said, hey, bitch, who are you? <laughs> this is this is what we have for you. Yeah. It was in my notifications. Yeah. Oh, you are now noted. You are now verified. Yeah, right. That's totally. how it happened. Yeah, I didn't have to right. pay for it. I didn't even request it. That's right. They saw you. And they that saw. was the thing. And now they're doing this thing that verified, there, there's this thing going on around where, you know, all that they say, if you're an authentic verified account, you they should be able to hit the three dots in your corner of your um profile and uh-huh. it should say about this account. If it doesn't, then there's something wrong with your account. People what? have been, yes, people have been hitting mine and it don't say about this account. Well, I don't think mine does either. So get, what get the this. fuck are they? Get this. I went, because you know, People think, oh, but see, but get this. This is what I'm showing you. All this stuff we go through is for a reason. Because I got my ass on the business, Facebook business concierge that people don't know about. It's for business owners. Wow. I got on there and got me a live person. Right. And said, "Um, I need y'all to look at my blue check. I need y'all to tell me if it's fraudulent or not. They went, they said, give us a second, Mr. Dufo, because that's my last name. Give right us a on. second. Said, no, no, no. Your, your blue check is verified. It is supposed to be verified. It's supposed to be there. It's not fraudulent. I screenshot that and saved and put it in my arsenal for any bitch that wants to try me. Wow. <laughs> You're so badass. Who wow, can't believe that. Because, because I realized something. Your reputation takes you That's years right. to build, but That's seconds right. to destroy. Seconds. They literally will rip you right off that. You're not going to destroy my reputation. No, it's so These people think that I paid for my check. I'm like, no, That's y'all right. gave me my check. That's right. That one, that one year alone in 2018, I had 21 million likes. One wow. year on wow. Instagram alone. But wow. people, were, people were consuming the messages. That's right. They were consuming the messages and the boys. That's I knew right. what to do. The That's boys right. were like the your boys. break. Because it was like, okay, all of this cerebral, cerebral, cerebral energy, you need a break. So the boys, it was like, okay, the boys with a commercial break. Okay, look at him. Look at Brilliant. him. Go follow him. Go follow them. And then come on back. You, you, I knew that they would have to take it in spades. No, that's actually brilliant marketing. It's understanding business. It's understanding people's brains that they can't overload and they just can't. So it was actually brilliant marketing how you did that. Listen, and they, was. people, oh, well, he don't have this and he don't have that. Well, you know and that oh, shit. And get it. My haters, the ones okay. I'm talking, you're telling you about, Ugh. oh my God, they tried everything. Tapping phones, ruining computers, doing all kinds of stuff. They leaked my album. I wow. worked, on, but, but get this, it was 20, it was 26 songs on my album. I don't know how they got it, but they got 20 of them. So I'm running around uh, because this is what happened. And I can say this uh, because the cease and desist letters went out and we have it, we have yeah. the files and the signings yeah. and everything. Nene Leaks tried to steal my Queen of Shade trademark in 2018 while I was actually in Atlanta recording my first studio album. So she was going on tour, a comedy tour that was supposed to hit Texas first. And she called it the Queen of Shade tour. Well, my lawyer got my lawyer. That was the first time I had to get a lawyer. I didn't even have a lawyer at that point. Yes. So I was scared out of my mind. I had to get a lawyer. So I got a lawyer and he said, listen, you're going to have to retain me. So I had to pay the $2,000 to retain him. And then he said, listen, we're going to reach out to Miss Leakes and and her, you know, people and she'll respond. So turn around. Um, She didn't respond. But she changed the name of her tour from uh, the Queen of Shade to Shit Talkers. But, uh-huh. the, but the point of the matter is, <laughs> I own my trademark. That's right. That's, That's right. business. That's business. Oh, oh, oh! It doesn't. Oh, it doesn't stop there. Marvel Comics and Disney tried to steal it too. They tried to make their first ever drag queen superhero name. Her name was Shade. And at that time, I was using fans. Her weapons were fans. I wore a green wig at that time. Her hair was green. Motherfucker. Get this. My, my lawyer actually got mad at me. He said, if you had to let this hit the presses, they would have had to give you some serious Oh, no, no. Money. That's true. That's but get true. This, I didn't oh. want it to come out. Because to me, the reputation of my brand was more important. I was okay. like, no, 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 no. No. Okay. I, I don't even want you to be able to touch it. I was like, That's no, right. stop it now. Not even come out. Cease it right now. Right. So they responded. They apologized. They saw the side by side pictures. They said, "Listen, we will no longer. She will no longer be called Shade. We're going to change up her likeness. Her name will be Dark Veil. We will work on her." Wow! That is and, crazy. and and get this. My lawyer said to me. He said, "Queen, 
they could have buried you in litigation fighting for your trademark for 30 years. They got they that could kind have. of money. They could have. But they backed off. Because wow. I had a lot of balls. Because I, right. instead of worrying about likes and followers, I was That's over right. here doing what I needed to do. That's right. Shut it down. Shut, shut I shit shut down. down. You will not wow. listen. Wow. I'm proud state, of you. Yes. Every single word I have spoken is copyrighted under wow. my brand. That's right, because you're a smart business person. That's Let's business. Forget this. I had to learn. It wasn't even that I had to learn. It was like a divine gift. It's right. It is. It was a That's divine right. gift. I knew yep. what to do. So this was the point. The, the album got leaked during the NeNe Leaks situation. So we, my lawyer taught me how to do the digital media copyright uh -huh. takedown notices. Yeah. So I'm issuing to Google. I'm issuing to um, Internet, Microsoft Explorer, you know, take this down, take this down. Every time we took it down, it, they were running it through a server in Russia. Oh, we don't have jurisdiction there. So wow. we couldn't get to the, the person that owned the site to say, um, excuse me, you need to take this down. So, so but look at this. Let me, sh let me show you how I got through it. So they had the 20 songs. So I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, I had to release my album because it was, you could pre-order the album. Yeah. It was going to come out around my birthday. Yeah. This was May. So May or June, this was June. So they got the album. Every time I took it down, it was coming back up. Look at what the divine said to me. They got 20 of your 26 songs. Do a deluxe album. Pull all of the other songs you ever created. I had a hundred and something songs. Wow. Other songs that I had re recorded and spent thousands, $50,000 plus. Wow. That's where my grandmother's money went. That music is everything to me because wow. that's where the music, that's where the money was spent. Yeah. yeah. So turn around and I, they were still putting it up. I issued my deluxe. My deluxe had 50 songs on it. Really? The, the leaked album became the publicity for the deluxe brilliant brilliant they snatched they took the the, the pirated brilliant. album they snatched it down because it was now promo <laughs> for the deluxe <laughs> that was don't excellent don't fuck with me don't no, fuck with me like, don't yeah. fuck with me don't oh, fuck wow. with me and all of that happened because the divine spoke to me do That's this right. do this do That's this right. and i did what i was told that's right. No, but also, you're smart. You are actually really smart in business. My, and my therapist and my psychiatrist say that I'm a music prodigy. I, I think so. Yeah, they I tell, actually me, they tell so. me all the time, but That's real. it's just that in my life, I didn't get to see it excel the way that it could have because of all the trauma. I was like, it was like, being, right. it was like being That's like right. under all of that trauma and under all That's that right. stuff. So I didn't get to, I couldn't focus. I couldn't, I did well no. in school. I did well in school. I had test anxiety, but um, I right. only got right. a, I only got a 700 on the SATs. Oh, me too. I Bombed sucked it. at the SAT. But get it. It's because I had a, 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 a freaking anxiety attack. No, that's right. It's and also I had to be dismissed. I had to yeah. be dismissed from the test. Yeah, yeah. I like, I was a mess. Because tests I, suck. Tests are yeah. really, they are. I don't think we should test. I think testing Listen, is. My grades, my grades were impeccable. I applied to four schools in Pennsylvania and got wow. into all of them. All of them. Even a private Catholic college. Wow. They took me. For biology, for my major, my intended wow. major. Wow, biology. They took me, yes. And wow. my, I'll never forget going to Clarion University and my advisor, his name was Dr. Smith. That man was so amazing. He was just so amazing. He looked at me and said, you got test anxiety. He could read me. Wow. He, yeah, he looked at me. He started having me take my test in his office uh -huh. after, you know, the- Lecture. Wow, what a and loving would, man. Exactly. Wow, but this is what so he said beautiful. to but this is what he said to me. He said, You learn things to know them for life and to teach them. Mm -hmm. He Brilliant. said, This is not college is not like that. Right. You learn, you memorize something for a test. You mm -hmm. spit it on the test, you get the A and you move on. That's right. He said, This is how college is. And if you need to refresh in the future, you take another course. Oh, he told wow. me, you learn like a sage and a scribe. You learn to know it, to know it forever and right. to teach it. And that, that is my learning style. I wow. learned to know it forever, to pass it to generation after generation after generation. But that, I didn't know that then. That's what shaman do. That's right. But you had that's to grow into that. That's what shaman do. You learn right. and you teach the generations after you. That's right. In the that's capitalist, exactly right. patriarchal society, I wasn't fitting. 
because <laughs> you're not supposed to be understand that because that's fake. No. The patriarchal yes. and all of that is fake. It's built on all of that bullshit. It's it's built on control. Everything yes. is built on controlling that's, the people. You're, you're right. Even yes. get it. Everybody is to be controlled. That's right. During, during COVID, 46 million people out of work. Unbelievable, my friend. This has been the most insane time. I honestly, I can't remember, except AIDS. I, never, I was around for AIDS. That was yeah. pretty bad. Yeah, that was bad. That was but, bad. But but this? This is not, this is huge. This is I just got bigger. over, get it? I got vaccinated. Oh, Everything, no. my grandmother. I just oh, got over COVID. No. I thought I was going to die. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you got it. Fuck. No, I didn't. I didn't tell. I didn't tell. Oh, I stopped. Yeah, I stopped. Like, don't tell. That's yeah, smart. yeah, yeah, I didn't totally. tell until yeah. I was like, I told a couple of people because when yeah. I was work because I was working through it because I yeah. needed to work through it because that's I, right. I, for me, I'm such a workaholic that if I don't work, yeah. I, I die. Yeah, so, right. yeah, so I had to work. So I told a couple of people because my voice sounded horrible and I'm like, I'm, I got cold. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but it's not funny. I can't yeah. believe you got you got it. But that well, now you got this. the antibodies. Yes, but good. exactly. See? Yeah. No, now I got the antibodies. Yep. But that was the thing. My ne- we didn't even leave our house. My nephew and his his uh, girlfriend went oh. to work over in Jersey, and there was an outbreak at their job. And before they they could be contained, they were back here with oh, us. So fuck. my grandmother and I did. Your grandma get it? Yes, at seventy four. Oh fuck! Is she okay? Yes, she pulled through. I was. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All the magic of the shaman. I was. I would lay hands on her. Right on. I was shaking the rattle. (laughs) Right on. Right on. No, it's real. Like for sure. Oh my god! And we got these. We got these lung detox pills. It's mullein leaf. Mullein leaf. And some other like natural things in it great, that great. just detox the lungs, got rid of the mucus. It just great. Oh, and she could breathe. I like literally. I stood up one day to go to the restroom and literally felt like I was going to expire. So it was like my head was in a vice. I could I not that. breathe. The the phlegm and the mucus. I was like, oh my god, this is it. This is oh it. Oh my god, it's so I, insane. I can't. I'm I was so like, this sorry. is it. Yeah. Wow. I, mean, I was I like, this really is it. Lucky. I don't know. You know what they say? You know, I smoke a lot of cannabis. Mm-hmm. And so they say that cannabis is actually really one of the things that people are not getting sick for some reason. Right. I don't know. That's why they're legalizing it. That's right, my friend. But I don't it know why medicinal. I didn't get sick. I haven't. And I've been around lots of, I mean, I just yeah. don't understand. It has medicinal purposes, though. It does. That's it why I use medicinal. it. I use but it. For because get this. My baby, my baby, he has ADHD. He, uh-huh. he uses it. It focuses That's on right. work. Yeah. That's right. It's amazing. It's a miracle drug. It really it is. is. It's, it's and look medicine. at it. And and he told me, he said, the government has taken so long to legalize Fuckers. it because yep. it's a plant that grows from the ground. So they that's can, right. They that's can, right. No, they they that's it. It's it's so fucked up. I'm in the I'm in the business, and so I know they're yeah. fucking with us big yeah. time. And and of course, still people of color or black yeah. people mostly are yeah. suffering from the whole fucking cannabis yeah. bullshit. Still and, in jail. And, and let's go even deeper into mental illness. They need that. They need it. That's the right. Trauma. The trauma, the trauma of life. Of That's life right. every single day. Every day you walk out that door, you get fucked as a black yes. person. I don't know why people yeah. don't understand that. They don't understand it. They, <laughs> they listen, don't. I grew up with my grandmother telling me, be careful because you are black. That's right. Effeminate oh and my gay. God. It makes me want to cry. have three strikes against I hate it. I hate it. I just hate it so much. I can't even stand that. You can't even walk out your fucking house. And the other thing that really I hate is that people don't acknowledge it. Yeah. Fucking just acknowledge it. I mean, I can I see it everywhere I go. I can literally watch how a black person is looked at. How yes. People just, I can walk, I can literally see it. I'm like, yes. right there. And I'm like, people just are not acknowledging. It's so in our faces. And we're just like, what? <laughs> I'm like, go now fuck mind, yourself. Now, mind you, you know, this is my voice. So I was in yeah. a store. Um, I was in Wawa. We have these convenient stores over yeah. here in Wawa. And I was in a Wawa and you can, it's like a food mart and there's all kinds of big stuff and there's a big deal in Pennsylvania. Yeah. So I was in there and everyone knows me in the Wawa because I go every day with my grandmother to get her coffee mm-hmm. and I get one of my drinks and, uh-huh. you know, and, and so they know me. So I can, even behind a mask, I can emote. I can be That's myself. Right. Okay. I can lift my voice. I can say, how are you, darling? And how, how, <laughs> and how's your family? And so I run around the store saying hello to everyone. Two Caucasian men walk in. They hear me greeting the woman who's doing the coffee bar. Yeah. I'm, I, she gives me a new pot of coffee. I'm standing there. Yeah. And the guy, the, I hear them behind me. 
And the guy says to the other guy, you're such an asshole. And he's like, yeah, I'm always an asshole. Yeah, I am. I don't give a fuck. Now, this is what he says. So I'm like, all right, well, th that has nothing to do with me. Then he starts talking about, yeah, uh, you should you should make that big purchase because you can just spend a million dollars because you got it. You know, you got what? money. Th this is what they're talking. No, mind you, I'm minding my business. I'm I'm, I'm cloaked because, you know, I got a mask on and everything. Yeah. So I got my big bubble goose down yeah. coat on everything. I'm cloaked. So they're talking about, yeah, because you got the money. You can afford it. Da, 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 da. And I realized that this was for my benefit, even though it made no sense. That's right. So I walked away and under my breath, I said to myself, yeah, you both are assholes. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but 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 get this. I go to get in the so I'm at the the counter and I and I always take my time at the counter. I don't give a fuck because everybody right. has their their chance at the counter. It's my chance. I'm taking. That's it. right. It's your so, time. Yeah, when your turn come, you are gonna want them to take your. That's time. right. That's the, that's the way I look at fame. And it's real. All that shit. When your time come, you gonna want to take your time. I'm taking my time. <laughs> so they leave and go out to the parking lot and get in the trash truck. Oh fuck! In the trash truck, so I'm like, fuckers. I'm like, so you just really wanted to just show off and tell me you was an asshole and that's that you right. Afford more than me. And, that's right. And 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 you don't even know I'm a business owner. All they I saw was black. So yeah, that's you don't all know, they saw. You don't know all the intellectual property I own because I don't just own one trademark. I own four. They don't care. You know, all they like see I, is black. Yeah, and, and, and get it from the back. So you didn't Ew. even see my face because it's covered in a mask. You saw the, the strip under my hat and knew That's I That's right. And the fact being is they don't have the balls enough to actually see your fucking face. They're doing it the all thing. from the back. And, what, and, and you know what it was? It was, I'm a, oh, I know exactly what oh. it was. I know exactly what it was. Here I was sounding affluent in my uh -huh. conversation. That's right. <laughs> well spoken in my conversation. And they were trash men. So <laughs> they felt threatened. Here's this black person. How dare you sound so better than I? How dare you have That's better right. than I? How dare That's you? Right. This is unfair. That's right. That's right. No, it's fucking real. It's fucking real. Have the conversation. Put it out there. We need to understand these people are full of shit and they don't want to stop racism and they want to keep perpetuating it by doing bullshit behavior like that, which is chicken shit. Yeah. It's chicken shit bullshit behavior that just keeps that stupid shit spinning yeah. out. Yes. I, I, it's, I, I don't know what to tell you, except for that it breaks my heart. And I don't well, like it. I know what to tell you. I'm leaving the country and everybody, <laughs> everybody will get the CDs while I'm gone. You That's know, right. and I'll make my money because this is gold. Right. This is internet gold. And I don't so, blame you. I'd leave yeah, this country too. I'm if I was I'm black, leaving. I'd be the fuck out of here. Yes, because, right? you know, I, I moved. No, honestly, let me tell you. you I moved to Mexico. I moved to Mexico after I Katrina. Because yeah. I was like, go fuck yourself. This country's yeah. sick. Yeah. Fucking sick. I will I not participate. I remember when you moved to Mexico. I did. I failed. And I said it. I said, I'm out of here. The racist goddamn country. Yes. As a white dude, I see yes. this shit. Yes. And fuck all you motherfuckers. I had so many friends die in, in Louisiana from that shit. I can't even tell you because they were black. And I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I was there. They yeah. did not come and help. They did not for weeks. Oh my God. It was And you insane. know what scares me? What scares me is not it's not just the water. It's a bayou. So you got, That's right. you got alligators in the water. No, but my friend, when they took down the ninth ward, literally within two weeks or something, they demolished. Those were homes given to people of black people from slavery their fucking ancestors own that shit who are actual slaves they went and bulldozed the whole ninth war i was like oh, now those people have nothing so that they couldn't come back i saw the whole plan they didn't want those black people who moved to houston they did not want they didn't have a home to come home to they had no home to come home to they oh, bulldozed the fuck out of them. those were 120 year old homes that were actually given to slaves it be, wow. it, 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 it's so insane people don't even know those stories they don't even understand but see but you know what too that's where my people have to read because you gotta know yeah. what you you, you gotta got know, to know what's all what's happening you out got here to know. they don't you like you have to know what's happening out that's here. right you don't have a cart in the race if you don't that's know right history oh yeah telling you fuck off you're not you don't get that's so crazy play. that's what we're saying basically i mean it fucking give him a second give him a second it looks like the the thing froze 
Give him a second. Good. Yeah, hold on. Don't go nowhere. It's still. <laughs> I'm like, I can hear you. It just froze with your with your finger up. Like, yeah. Hold on. Let's see if it writes itself. Uh, let's see. We're having such a good conversation too. It didn't write itself. All right. You still there? Out of my ass for this thing. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we're back. But we're yeah, back. I should have paused it, but I hit the I hit the, the thing it's by all good. it makes it more interesting. No, but we've had a very, very, very good conversation. Yes, and thank you, my friend. I, I really you appreciate for... you. I love you. I'm connected you to you. I will work with you. However, yes. my white ass can actually <laughs> create change. I'm not kidding. You know I, know. I mean it, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I know. My white ass wants to create change with you. Yes, yes. And, um, I can and we shall. You. And we yes, shall. I, I care love about and you. care about you too. So yes. tell, tell everybody where they can find you online. Buck Angel on Instagram, Buck Angel on Twitter. Be careful of Twitter. It's toxic like motherfucker. <laughs> no, it's not. I deleted my brand Twitter so I could have a freak Twitter. <laughs> I'm right on. It's so insane. And then, yeah. uh, you know, uh, Facebook. Buckangel.com, right? Yeah, and Buckangel.com. Buck I'm Angel. easy. I'm All easy. right. So I love you, friend. I, I love, love you, you too. Ladies and gentlemen, you have heard the vocal stylings of Buck Angel. <laughs> right on. Say bye. Don't go nowhere. Bye. <laughs>